grains and the way the hair grows. The grain is actually in the direction of the growth pattern of the hair. Whether the hair grows down, whether the hair grows up, and we're talking about face shaving. So on the face, normally the cheeks, the hair grows down. On the mustache, the hair grows down. And sometimes on the neck, the hair could actually grow up or out to the sides. And even on the cheeks, the hair could actually grow out towards the sides, toward the back, around the ears. So if you're going to do a with the grain shave, you're actually going to follow the growth pattern. So you really have to pay attention to actually how the hair is coming out of the face, what direction it is growing. And if, they, if you're going to do a with the grain shave, you're going to follow that actual growth pattern. So if it grows down on the face, on the cheeks, you're going to actually stroke down and go with the growth pattern. And if it's on the neck area, if the hair actually grows up or if it grows out to go with the grain, you actually have to come and come up towards the chin and or up and out towards the ears to actually go with the grain. And you would use this particular uh, technique going with the grain on clients that have sensitive skin. If they have sensitive skin, that means that they possibly can get ingrown hairs and they can get irritations, make get really red and or get ingrown hairs, which cause bumps. And you don't want to create any type of irritation on a client. So it's very important, number one, to ask a client and to pay attention to the growth pattern and or the grain of the hair before you begin to shave uh, any particular face. Now, if, if you're gonna do a, an against the grain shave as well, you still have to pay attention to the growth patterns, see which direction the hair is growing, and then first you still have to go with the grain. So whichever way it's growing, if it's growing down here and up here and out here, you still have to go with the growth pattern first. And then to go against the grain, you actually go the opposite way of the grain or of the growth. So if it's coming this way to go against the grain, you would come up. And on the neck area, if the hairs are growing up and out here to go against the grain, you would actually go down and in from this side, okay, or from the sides. So you would do that to get a closer shave to do an against the grain shave. And clients that don't have sensitive skin and don't get ingrown hairs, they can actually, you can actually perform that particular technique. So clients that don't have sensitive skin, you can perform an against the grain shave on those particular clients without any irritation at all. So it's very important to figure out the growth pattern, the way the hair is growing, then you can determine what type of shave you're going to give that particular client. And you have to ask the client if they have sensitive skin, if they had any problems in the past with any of their uh, shave or shaving techniques, if they've gotten any bumps or any of those things.